Hey, Disney family, welcome back to my channel. I <laughs> was finally able to get Ariel. I am so happy, so exhausted, um, so excited, elated, grateful beyond reason to the kind, sweet soul in California who sold her to me. Thank you. Um, you are a, a, a very, just a very generous gal and to sell her to me at your cost plus shipping, thank you. I, uh, I cannot say thank you enough. I'll probably keep saying it throughout the video, so thank you again. <laughs> um, I have had her for just a couple of days now. Um, she did message me, I think about the beginning of this week and said, okay, I got my Ariel. She's not doing it for me, but I know you're gonna love her, so let's get her shipped out to you. She sent her three day priority shipping, which is even kinder, because I know that costs money. Um, and I am over the moon. I was gonna do an unboxing, but Seeing as I got her second hand, I didn't feel that was quite right because it wasn't from Shop Disney. Um, but it's okay, guys. I promise. She's beautiful. Um, and today is October, or excuse me, November 10th. We are done. All of these releases are over. I praise God for that. I am so looking forward to being able to sleep <laughs> on my weekends from now on. Um, and I, I just, I'm very, I mean, I'm still a little... Whew, you know, got a little bit of whatever apprehension coming because I was able to order Bell last night. Oh my gosh, I about freaked out over that too because it was glitching like crazy. App froze, went blank screen, signed me out of my account. I'm like, are you flipping kidding me, Disney? Come on. So I ran to my computer, signed in as fast as I could. It took a moment for it to like even load the sign in option. I thought it was bizarre. The page showed up, but it just said store locator and shop. It didn't even give me the sign in option. I'm like wigging out because I had Bell in my cart um, on the app. So I knew if I signed in, it should keep her in my cart online. Finally, the sign in typed as fast as I could, typed in my password wrong, typed it in again the right way. Sure enough, she was still in my cart hit checkout, it kind of spun a little bit, and I'm like freaking out, because I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is gonna, this is not gonna happen again. It gave me a whole, I am a robot, whatever, no I'm not, so I had to pick the pictures, and hit checkout, and I got my thank you for your order. So as you all know, order confirmation means zilch. It's shipping confirmation that matters, and even then, that's nothing until it actually arrives on your doorstep. So, still gonna be sweating bullets till probably Friday, that's usually when mine arrive. Um, because they usually don't ship out to a Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it takes a couple of days for Memphis to get to me. So, fingers crossed, guys. I don't want a cancellation email because I really want to finish out this collection because I have all of them except for Bell. I did end up getting up last weekend and ordering a Tiana. <laughs> um, I thought, I'm not going to get them all. Except for one, that's silly. I might as well get all of them. And I know at the beginning of all this, I said I was only gonna get two. <laughs> well, yeah, that kind of got shot in the foot. So we will get to Ariel in a second, but if you can, right over there. Oh, yeah, yep, that's Tiana. <laughs> so anyways, life goes on. We'll get to that one. That's gonna be another video. I wanna do them in sequence. Um, I know I'm a little behind, but unlike other people, the Disney store is a couple of hours away. I, I can't always make it. So I am always at the mercy of the post office. So whenever they arrive, they arrive and it's always a week later. But anyways, so Ariel, who is probably at this point, I mean, Snow White is my absolute favorite of this series. She is stunning. She's classy. Some people call her understated and blah, but I'm like, no, she is sophisticated grace. I'm stealing Anna's line from Frozen. She is simply stunning. Ariel, however, is gorgeous. <laughs> I cannot get over her. Her outfit is awesome. The way they posed her in the box is great. I really wish parts of her were a little bit better, but I'll take what I've got because I wanted her and I got her and I'm thankful. So let's go ahead and take a look at this doll. I'm sure most of you have already seen like MM Disney 200 and, and his review and a few others on eBay, or not eBay, well, uh, YouTube. Um, but here's mine. So without further ado, just like the other boxes, the year the movie came out, 1989. Amazing, stunning artwork as always. I, I cannot remember the artist's name. I can't think if it's on here or not. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> but I know the artist's name. It's, it's all over Instagram and such. Uh, and of course it does say The Little Mermaid and limited edition one of 4,500. And then again in French. Um, I just, oh guys. I am so grateful. 
again to my my angel in California. I cannot say thank you enough. Again, there's her full artwork, which again at first I was like, oh no, I liked it from like there up. This down I didn't like, but the doll is amazing. So again, 1989 paparazzi. The vignette is even in a funky fun color. Um, for some reason, I keep thinking of uh, oh, what's that movie? Um, they talk about Twisted Sister, and it's from the 80s, and I cannot remember the name of the movie. Uh, oh, it's the kid with the spaceship, and the little thing comes down to Earth, and... Oh, well, anyhow. But yeah, for some reason, that shape just it, it brings that back. I have no idea why. It's an old Disney movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, there's the vignette. Fantastic artwork. Concept drawing in the top. The actual, then, fashion drawing. Um... Kind of hard to see on this one, guys. There, I kind of kind of get the light on it. If you want to pause it, there you can. Uh, 109.95, and then of course 153.95, and then also on this side again the artwork and her year, and then the back. Also, I'm not going to bother or bore you guys with the way this box works. You've already seen it a hundred times over, I'm sure. Um, but I love I love how the numbers are glossy. I just think that is really cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a quick look at her. Uh, I will, of course, um, not completely debox her, but I will take the covers off, that way there's no glare, and uh, you guys can get an up close and personal look at, oh golly, the gorgeous, gorgeous Ariel herself. All right, so just like the other ones, she has the same flaps like the platinum um, sets that are out there that are ridiculously expensive. Um, and at a conclusion, the top, the top of the box does say Designer Collection Premiere Series in purple this time, of course, to match the dress, the other uh, writing and such on there. There's some of my other stuff. Oh, look at that sneak peek to things to come. Um, but yeah, back to Ariel. Oh yeah, I, I did switch up my dolls, guys. I thought you would find that fun. We've got Coronation, Elsa, and Snow Gear on out now because... Ugh, it is snowing as we speak. Oh my gosh, I'm so not ready for this. I hate living in Ohio. Anyhow, um, yeah, so same as others, and I will go ahead now and take this cover off, and uh, we'll get to the nitty gritty of this doll. Okay, so they did have to change the poster that was used. Um, they cannot use the original poster because, well, I don't know if some of you may remember, it depends on your age probably, the original movie poster had some questionably shaped towers um, on Ariel's castle. So that got yanked and quickly. So they did go with this new concept art. I think this is the one that they used when she re-released 20 years later. Um, at least that's the one that's on the cover of my Blu-ray. So that is the new um, movie poster that they did use. I'm not gonna show it to her yet. And then uh, over here is of course, you and your family are invited. I'm not gonna be able to show all of you this because it is like ticky, sticky taped in there. Um, but you can kind of see full length animated feature Walt Disney Pictures, A Little Mermaid, and then two movie tickets, which I love. I've always loved this vignette, that, or not vignette, silhouette that they used for this. Um, but you can see there, sep or December, I think. What is that? September, December, November 17th, 1989. So yeah, I actually remember going to the cinema and watching this with my um, grandparents. Um, and I just, oh, this movie has been my favorite since, well, since ever. Because <laughs> it was the first movie I ever saw. Well, like Snow White was for my grandma. How it left a lasting impression, Ariel was the first movie I ever saw. Little Mermaid, I guess you should say. And it is and forever will be my favorite. Now, there's a glare, so don't worry. But look at this beautiful doll. I am so excited, guys. I still can't get over her. Um, she is just, oh, so much fun. Like... Jasmine was crazy colored and, and still kind of put together. Ariel is just fun. Like this outfit screams 80s party fun. Um, life of the party obviously here. Uh, I love, I love, I love what they did. I love what they did to the shape of the box. They did it the same as the vignette uh, that's on the back. So the opening is really cool. Um, now let's go ahead and take off this cover so we don't have any glare and we can get an even better look at her. All right, guys, so without the glare, I give you Ariel, and oh my goodness, she is so much fun. I cannot get over this. It's like, I don't know, Cindy Lauper, Madonna, all kinds of good fun stuff put into this whole outfit. So much neon, 
lots of fun. So like usual, let's start at the top. Like all the other limited edition dolls, she does have rooted hair and rooted eyelashes. You can kind of see it there. Let me see here if you can, whoops, sorry, that's her nose. Hard to judge. Yeah, you can kind of see them there. Um, and then I thought it was really fun. And I think MM Disney pointed this out too, but she is wearing a scrunchie, which is total 80s. I mean, I'm an 80s kid, so I remember these things. I don't know if some of the girls today even wear them anymore, um, but still really fun. She does have metal findings, which I think is great that Disney's starting to do this now. Her earrings are metallic. Um, she does have some really fun and funky makeup on, bright uh, teal, which matches her eyes, hot pink, which almost looks like it has a little bit of glitter on it, um, purple and pink. She's got these really great fishnet gloves, these hot neon green um, bracelets and then chain bracelets. She's got a little halter top type pink spaghetti strap stuff going on there. I love the top. It looks like it's her seashells. Um, one thing that I thought was kind of fun, um, this section right here looks a lot like the tail on the Ursula Ariel um, designer set. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then of course her long red hair is just curling and billowing everywhere. You can see there it is all, I mean, it's huge. Uh, a lot of flyaways. I'm gonna have to go in there and fix that with a little bit of water. Um, but anyhow, the rest of her dress, of course, has that same fishnet material. It's got all these little embroidered sections there. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. Let's try, there we go. Um, looks like paint splatter almost. There are little jewels you can see there. There's a teal jewel. There's these hot pink jewels. On this wrist, she has the same beads used there as a bracelet, as well as one of those pink chunky bracelets. This is the only part of Ariel that supremely disappointed me, and that was the fact that her purse is just a silly little plastic clamshell. That was such a bummer, considering all the other ones have these wonderful purses, and then there's Ariel's, and it's just a dumb little clamshell bothers me. Anyways, um, you can see there, she's got like some sequins holding up her dress, which is weird but fun. Uh, the inside of her dress is like this uh, magenta, um, very like cool metallic looking fabric. She is wearing fishnet hose. Again, it's very fitting for Ariel. And then down, uh, she does have these funny little uh, heels on that are bright pink with a, a teal bow. Um, the back of her dress is, of course, just like the top, lots of little embroidered neon green um, uh, shapes. There's uh, there's a like a purpley magenta crystal, a hot pinkish orange crystal. I mean, there's crystals all over this thing. I would love to see this one under a black light. I think that would be really kind of fun. But um, yeah, guys, this doll, she's everything I'd hoped for and more. I am so thrilled to have her. She is stunning. Um, I, I just, I cannot get over her. I really can't. <laughs> I'm so glad I have this one now. Um, to the gal again in California, you made my day. So thank you so much for that. Um, the, the little certificate, uh, like always, it does say there, you know, certificate of authenticity, um, number one of 4,500. And then the other side, uh, if you want to pause it there, you can. I got number 887 of 4,500, so another one under 1,000. So far, I'm doing pretty good. My numbers are, are decently low. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, Tiana looks to be my lowest number yet. Um, if the carton number is correct, and if you add three, well, you guys are gonna find out on my next video, so that's pretty crazy. But anyhow, yes, this is Ariel, guys. I hope you got her. If you haven't yet and you're waiting, keep waiting because prices are going down. I don't know if anyone's noticed that or not, but I'm trying to fix her hair there. The prices on the internet are going down. So that is very uh, good news for those that missed out on her. Um, I mean, she's still a little over 200, but she's not the 250, 260, 275 that she was. Some people are getting her at about a 195, but then of course you got 20 to 30 shipping depending on where they're coming from. But hang tight guys, I promise you, she is worth the wait. Um, I am so grateful to have her in my collection. Uh, one more to go. Belle, yes, um, 
I called Shop Disney, took a break actually between the two videos just to make sure everything went through since all the, the issues that I had. And she said everything looks fine so far, but to call back in a couple of days just to make sure because you know how it goes. But yeah, there is my review. Um, we've got other fun stuff coming. Uh, you know, of course, hopefully Bell next week. And then I got a whole ton of stuff between the friends and family event, the 40% off event at Shop Disney. Lots of really cool things to look at, see, and, and go over. And I don't know if you guys know or not, but my bubby is sleeping. He loves this spot right here. He is pretty much back to his normal self, although I just made him angry. Hi, bubby. <laughs> He's like, whatever, daddy, leave me alone. So I am happy to have my little man home. He is precious and he is cute and he is mad at me for waking him up. So anyways, back to Ariel. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I cannot believe we broke 100 subscribers this weekend. I am at 104 as of right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my golly, I am like, my wife's like, how many are you up to now? How many are you up to now? And I'm like, 98, 99. And then I woke up yesterday and I had 102. And then today I woke up and I have 104. So I am thrilled beyond reason. I'm loving that you guys are loving what we're doing here. Every Saturday, we do a Disney-themed video, whether it be these guys for now, since this is the hot thing of the moment, or other things Disney. In two and a half weeks, uh, we are leaving for Florida because in three weeks is our Disney trip. So we will be going uh, there and taking you guys along for that. So if you do like what we're doing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see when our videos come out. And follow along on our journey, guys, because it's going to be a fun ride. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend.